We're here with Major General Le Lumiere from the Canadian Air Force. Um, can you tell us, sir, what's the current landscape for Canadian flight training? In Canada, we've been um, in partnership with industry to deliver our training requirements uh, for the last 25 years. This is a, an area that that uh, we needed to investigate and we needed to put in place because uh, we needed to um, diversify the use of our resources and mainly read people as the first one. So 25 years for us uh, equated to two contracts that were renewed once each. So um, the Canadian flight training system first uh, and then after that NFTC NATO training um, uh, for Canada as being the second contract that we renewed twice. Um, we are looking at pretty much the same solutions moving forward. So we are looking at industry to come up with some very innovative way of training um, that they would have learned or on their own or uh, with our other military partners or uh, with um, um, airlines, uh, civilian uh, aeronautical industry itself. Um, this is the landscape of today, but this is, all, this is exactly what we're looking at moving forward as our next solutions. And you'll be moving forward with industry in tow. When it comes to working with the industry, where do you see the opportunities, but uh, also where do you see the possible roadblocks? It's a very interesting juncture for Canada. We were, I wouldn't claim to be that Canada was the first into looking into this, this partnership with, uh, with industry from a military training perspective, but we were definitely one of the first ones. Uh, we and industry we had to learn um, exactly all uh, the fields of possibilities that were opening uh, to, uh, to ourselves, both you know, from a customer government perspective and industry perspective together. Uh, this informed quite a bit of our uh, coalition partners into their own considerations, being the UK, being uh, uh, the US, being New Zealand, being Australia, France, Germany. Which, were, which was one of our uh, partner actually, which, which is one of our partner on NFTC. Um, uh, now we are at the juncture that we, uh, we, we are wanting to get their um, results, their lessons learned from the partnerships that they have established in their own individual countries. So we've been doing that for the last 18 months, uh, going to them and asking what are those key lessons learned that uh, uh, you are learning and you are experiencing because the industry that they're dealing with today is a much more mature industry than the one that we started partnering with 15 years ago. Their data is more recent. So we have experience, they have recent data. So we want to take both and sure enough come up with uh, the next um, limit really that Canada wants to push and we want to bring integration together. We want to have flexibility, we want to have integration and we want to have resilience in that solution that we're going to be putting together. We're looking probably for another solution for 20 years with five years decision points moving forward. Uh, industry demands for a long-term commitment for the type of investments that they have to make, which are substantial. So, uh, but it's about flexibility, it's about integration, it's about resiliency. Excellent. And building those bridges with industry is obviously a key part of the military flight training event. What value does it bring to you? So, the value that it brings, it's sure enough, it's their, their, their learning base is wider than just the military. So, industry right now is integrated into many different levels and layers, and not just aeronautical. So they bring, um, uh, they bring training solutions from other fields, being um, maritime uh, type of, of business and operations, not necessarily military and terrestrial and so forth. Uh, so they bring those lessons learned, um, which not only for us, it gives us a force multiplier to use what they know and they bring in um, with that set of, of, uh, of resiliency behind them. It also frees us up from a military perspective to those operational uh, no-fail type of uh, readiness and commitments that we have to deliver day in, day out, and all those that we can't predict. In the past, the structure that we had was too vulnerable to that. As soon as the world had a vote and voted, we needed to surge to that, to that operational need, sometimes at the risk of our own training no-fail uh, results. We said, well, let's risk manage this for a little while. Uh, this, is, this is where in 1990 that the RCEF made the decision that we need a partner. We need a partner actually that can absorb uh, those push and pulls uh, and that started our venture with industry and that's exactly what they bring today is they bring flexibility, they bring capacity and they bring resiliency. And just finally, is there anything that's come up in discussion in the past day or so that's been particularly interesting to you or something that you found as a valuable lesson for helping you get to where you need to go? We are paying a lot of attention on incentives. So that's, that's been an area where, uh, with industry, we, we've, we've explored and we thought we found the right mix and the sweet spot 
of having those uh, robust list of deliverables contractually and then these other areas where we didn't want to make it a, a hard deliverable contractually we call them incentives and we, we we called it a pulling force so sure enough it made a lot of sense uh, probably the market for the industrial partner or ourselves would develop in that direction it would be an incentive for industry to go in and achieve and then once it's achieved turn back and call the achievement for us for revenue to be passed they remain delusive. So for the last um, for the last uh, few contracts that we had, these incentives were rarely invoked. So we, we, we need to keep working on that. We're, we're talking with our partners and the coalition uh, partners in that regards to see if they found the right mix of incentives versus hard deliverables contractually. Um, and, um, and, and this is where we need to uh, um, uh, we need to do better in that sense. I'm sure there's potential into that area. And can I just ask in a in a sentence, perhaps, what does this what, how would you summarize this conference? This conference is, is again, the opportunity where uh, industry leaders, uh, training leaders from various organizations, mainly military in this case, but from all the services, uh, come together into that one area to, uh, to do a synchronization of data. And, and this is exactly what this opportunity has been so far. This ability to, uh, to at least agree on a calendar, on a date, to say, uh, let's all be there and, and uh, give ourselves a how goes it based on our own different efforts. It's a pleasure to have you here. Thank you very much. Pleasure. Thank you for having me.